Okay, so uh, welcome to the first video in a new series. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a match three game similar to Candy Crush or Bejeweled using Game Maker Studio 2. And this is going to be kind of a part zero where I just kind of make my art assets and show you how I made them using free resources that you yourself can use. So I'm on uh, www.piscalapp.com. I'll include the link in the description. And I just created a new pixel here. Uh, what I want to do first is make sure that my canvas is the size I want it to be. Right now I want my canvas to be 32 by 32. And I'm going to create just like a, a box uh, for the outline of where each of the grids are going to be. So I'm going to use my rectangle tool. It's in black. I'm just going to come up here. And I will fill this in. And then I'm going to create another rectangle inside of that. I'm going to go two pixels on each. Oops, <laughs> I don't want this to be black. Um, let's make this like a cool gray. I'm going to go two pixels down on each side. And then just go over here. And I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to then use, uh, by default, Piscal has your right mouse click be transparent. So I'm going to go to my vertical. And I'm just going to give this a little bit of an edge. And I'm doing that just so it appears a little curved. So you can kind of see how this looks over here. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add a new frame. And by default, Piscal tries to animate it, so I'm just going to pull that down to zero. Now my box here starts one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to make a circle that kind of matches that. So I'm going to use my circle tool. Um, or here's one, two, three, two, three. And I'm going to go down. So here's the very edge. Two, three, two, three. And I fill this in. I'm also going to change the color here. So I'm going to try to make choose colors that I generally like. I'm going to try and choose seven of them. I'm going to go in the reds here. Choose kind of a get a little bit more orangey. Too orange. There we go. That's good. Uh, I'll make that one, and then I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to go for an orangey color. I'm watching my color down there. Uh, a little redder and a little more saturated. All right. Duplicate this again. And this time I'm going to go for a yellow color. I'll duplicate this again. I'll go for green. that again. I'll go for kind of a tealy blue. Duplicate that again. And this time I'm going to go for a purple. There we go. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, create another one that is purely black. Well, actually, maybe not black, maybe like gray, dark gray. That won't really stand out across our background. Let's make it darker than that. And there we go. And then we'll make one more that's white. So on this one, maybe not entirely white, maybe a little bit of off-white up here. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay. So now um, GameMaker has a sprite editor built into it. So I can just save this as a sprite sheet. Uh, you, it doesn't treat uh, a sprite sheet the same way that Unity does. So it's not such a big deal to do that. So I'm going to go to my export here. And I'm going to save this as a PNG sprite sheet. I want this to just be one column though. So if I do nine columns, one row. And now I'm just going to download that. Comes down as new piscal.png. Drag this to my desktop so I can use it. Um, Alright, I'm going to rename this. Let's call this match 
three strip. Uh, okay, cool. So there we go. There's our art that we're going to be using for a match three game in Game Maker Studio 2. Have a great day.